I'm here outside a Yonkers polling location where the line is out the door and people have been waiting a long time to vote, as has been reported throughout the state. It's past 9 p.m., which was supposed to be the cutoff for voting here in New York State. Jamal Bowman actually spoke to me and gave me a sense of why he thinks voter suppression is so such a dire issue and one that he would combat in Congress. So I'm here with future Congressman Jamal Bowman. <laughs> Sorry, I, got, I had to say it. I mean, That's look, okay. it's looking good, um, but we're here at a polling site to talk about voter suppression, which I don't know. I mean, it's talked about like it's only a Republican thing, but I just saw lines of people waiting out here for around an hour to vote in just a Democratic primary here in Yonkers. Can you talk about that? Yeah, it, it's unacceptable. I mean, we, we had, a, we had a polling sites that were disrupted or not working, machines broken uh, in Co-op City. Uh, people didn't have their names on the polls. Uh, it, was just, it was just a disaster in Co-op City and at Yonkers Middle School here uh, in Mamaroneck and Mount Vernon. Like all throughout the district, we're hearing stories about people waiting on lines for two hours, two and a half hours. It's just unacceptable. Yeah, and in a, in a blue state like this, right. you would think they would have it figured out. Uh, you know, you are running in a safe blue district, they say, but mm -hmm. it's, so it's, the battle's kind of being waged between you and Elliot Engel in the primary. Yes. Um, can you talk about, you've had so much success, even if you, know, you don't pull it out tonight. Can you give advice to candidates running in redder or per, more purple districts on a progressive platform like your, yours? connect with the people who have been historically marginalized and ignored. These are the people that have the energy and the power and the passion to really create a movement and build a coalition across the district. They have so much to offer to the political process and to our democracy, but no one ever speaks to them. So start there. Start with the people who have been most disenfranchised, build relationships, listen carefully, learn about their issues, and then galvanize them and organize them into a space where you can make dra dramatic political change. We're, we're here in Yonkers, which historically has had tons of housing discrimination and has a history of segregation, even well into the 80s, 90s. Can you talk about, if you were a congressman, if you were to win this race, um, how you would uh, touch on housing in, when you were in power in Congress? Absolutely. Housing is central to our platform, so we're looking to invest $1 trillion over the next 10 years to build 12 million new social housing units in alignment with the demands of climate climate change, looking to build 12 million new housing units where people will have part ownership of their apartments, part ownership of the land, and part ownership of commercial real estate, replacing the public housing that has been neglected for decades, not just in Yonkers, but all throughout this district. And lastly, uh, there are some people, laymen's, who kind of say the progressive movement really got kicked in the teeth with Bernie Sanders' loss in the presidential election, but we're seeing a lot of uh, progressive upstarts like yourself in congressional districts. Uh, what's your read on the progressive movement, even though Joe Biden, a more uh, conservative uh, candidate, is the presumptive nominee? Well, we'll see after tonight. You know, Bernie Sanders gave birth to uh, candidates like me. I wouldn't be running if it weren't for him. Uh, so, you know, he got us started and it's our job to finish it. So the progressive movement, movement is strong. It is growing. If we're able to win this election, that will be huge for the movement. And it's already galvanized so many people. That's why we have long lines for a congressional primary during COVID season, because people are excited about this campaign and we're excited about them. So the movement is strong and it's getting stronger every day. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks. All right.